Hi, I'm Stephen Kajura. I'm a professor in the biology department at Florida Atlantic University. And since 2011, I've been doing this aerial survey, counting the black tip sharks that migrate down and spend the winter here in, in South Florida. I just got back from a flight now. We flew the flight from Miami Beach up to Jupiter, and we saw lots of sharks right off Palm Beach and uh, off Singer Island. Uh, huge numbers, well in the, the thousands, probably close to 10,000 sharks all told we saw uh, in the flight this morning. Tons of them here. Uh, fishing boats having a blast. And the interesting thing about all these sharks is that you have huge numbers of them. They're immediately adjacent to shore. We were no more than about 200 meters offshore, 200 yards offshore. So it's very close to shore and we we're flying at an altitude of only 500 feet. So we could easily see all the sharks and there were tons of them. And the interesting thing is these sharks are right up against the shoreline. You could stand on the shore and toss a pebble and hit a, hit a shark, they're that close. So even though we have this huge number of sharks, tens of thousands of them immediately adjacent to shore here in South, uh, South Florida, we have relatively few bites. And when you consider the number of people in the water and the number of sharks in the water, you think there'd be a lot of interaction. But for the most part, because the water is nice and clear, the sharks are able to determine that's a human, not a fish, and there are relatively few interactions. Palm Beach approach, November 172 for Park Hill at the Palm Beach Inlet. I'd like to head back south and go to Pompano. Number 172, Papa Kilo, Palm Beach Approach, Roger. Proceed as requested at or below 500 on the shore. 